I'm not counting out Tom Brady. Part of it is the conference that you're in, like I told you by default. Now, I respect the hell out of the New Orleans Saints. I know what a bona fide big-time threat they are. I know they've pretty much had their way against Tampa Bay in the regular season. But Jameis Winston is their quarterback. This is the first time since 2005 they'll be without both Sean Payton and Drew Brees together. Sure. Even though Dennis Allen brings a level of continuity there, it's still a question mark. I know you got a lobby out of Ohio State. Michael Thomas is coming back. You still got Alvin Kamara. I get all of that. But it's going to come question, down sure. to the quarterback, right. okay? Don't get me started with Atlanta and Carolina. I'm not paying much attention to them. I'm just not. When we look at the North, we got Aaron Rodgers, Mr. No, no Show in preseason. He doesn't want to throw any passes. Normally, I don't care because he's that dude. He's a bad man. But when you've got Sammy Watkins and the Randall Cobbs of the world and people like that, and you've got unproductive or, or young receivers, you need to be out there developing a little we'll bit of continuity right, right. with them. I think that's a mistake. That's right. just my personal opinion. Plus, I'm interested in seeing how – the Vikings are going to look now that they've got a new coach in O'Connell because Zimmer is going, all right? But again, that's a question mark. Don't get me started with the NFC East. I don't care oh. about them damn Cowboys. We're, we're, I was mad I didn't show up to the preseason game with you just the other day. Just to be on the sideline with you in that blue suit, <laughs> it would have been fun just to be there on the sideline with you. But I'm discounting them. I'm not discounting the Eagles, who I think is going to win the division. Yeah. But I'm saying all of those teams I mentioned are people that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers can beat. Then we get to... The South, the West, I'm sorry. San Francisco, they are a threat. The Los Angeles Rams mm. are the reigning defending Super Bowl champions. Mm. I look at Tampa at third right now. I understand your offensive line is a question mark. I understand Godwin. We hope that he's going to be ready eventually because he had a nasty injury last year. Let's see what he's going to be able to do at the beginning of the season. You got Mike Evans out there. You still got Cameron Brake, even though Rob Gronkowski isn't there. You still got Leonard Fournette out of that backfield. I'm looking at the level of continuity, even though Bowles is the coach as opposed to Booz Arians. He's been there, okay? So I'm looking at it with left, which is your offensive coordinator still. The level of continuity combined with the fact that the defense is going to be better this year because we know they had some weak spots last year. Injuries, with the experience sure. of Tom Brady knowing how to win, getting rid of the football quickly, having Fournette out of the backfield, mm. catching passes from time to time. I just mm. think it's a mistake to summarily dismiss the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a bona fide threat to come out of the NFC and go to the Super I got Bowl. You. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.